its staff. Our goal is not to deter or contain ISIS, but to defeat and destroy ISIS. A more effective coalition air campaign is necessary, but not sufficient. And we should be honest about the fact that to be successful, airstrikes will have to be combined with ground forces actually taking back more territory from ISIS. We should also work with the coalition and the neighbors to impose no-fly zones that will stop Assad from slaughtering civilians and the opposition from the air. Opposition forces on the ground with material support from the coalition could then help create safe areas where Syrians could remain in the country rather than fleeing toward Europe. This combined approach would help enable the opposition to retake the remaining stretch of the Turkish border from ISIS, choking off its supply lines. There is an important role for Russia to help in resolving the conflict in Syria. And we have indicated a willingness to work with them toward an outcome that preserves Syria as a unitary, non-sectarian state with protections for the rights of all Syrians and to keep key state institutions intact. There is no alternative to a political transition that allows Syrians to end Assad's rule, because ultimately our efforts will only succeed if the Arabs and Turks step up in a much bigger way. This is their fight, and they need to act like it.